Okay, so Norm gave you $30 million to build this lab when you were 29. <laughs> yeah. Since I have the power that I have to make determinations, and I'm going to do something truly remarkable. Norm told me that, you know, he didn't want to do it if it wasn't bigger and better than everybody else. Basically, he said, how much is it going to cost? We told him, he said, go. There's very few people that manufacture equipment as large as we do at the volumes that we do. We wanted to have a testing facility that would allow us to test all aspects, thermal, airflow performance, and acoustical performance. This was an opportunity to have the facilities to match the team. We've always been innovative, and we knew that to stay on top of innovation, we needed a facility. To bring customers in, to interact with our customers, to understand their problems, their issues, their needs, so that we could develop equipment that met those needs and systems for their buildings that meet those needs. On the east side of the building is our chamber base. There's actually eight in this building and two located in a kind of an annex off the building. And they basically simulate uh, the environment around the piece of equipment so that we can simulate anything from negative 20 to 130 degrees. So we can simulate environments from Arizona to Houston or New Orleans, all the way up to the Arctic. We can test all kinds of humidity, dry climate, wet climate. You know, we can even make it snow in here in the middle of August when it's 100 degrees outside. Basically, we can create almost any environment in the world inside these rooms. In our sound test facility, we try to get how many watts of sound is being produced. And by giving that reliable information to acoustical engineers, they can calculate what they expect the sound to be in the occupied space. On a projects where they're really concerned about sound, they're really concerned about it. It's an opera house or it's a movie theater or something like that. If they mess it up, it's very expensive to fix. So they wanna be ensured that the sound levels that we say it's gonna produce, that it's gonna produce those. So the building, when you first walk up to it, it seems extremely tall, which it is. It's 65 foot to the peak of the building. You know, I think first when you approach the building, you notice the scale of the building, it's enormous. You know, we're pushing 130 to 140,000 square foot. Most people are usually shocked to actually have it all come into full design. It's been kind of neat to see it. We have built chambers that far exceed the capacity of what's out there. Most of our competition, you know, can test up to an air conditioner that's 63 tons. Well, we can test an air conditioner that's up to 300 tons. There is no other laboratory in the world that can test thermal performance, airflow performance, and acoustical performance simultaneously at these capacities. So this laboratory is a whole new level of customer experience. You know, we can bring people in and they can really understand how we test products and how we can prove to them how well their product operates. We made this a destination, we made this a show place, we made this an R&D facility all in one. And the customer can come in and nice comfortable rooms where they can see screens, where they can monitor the tests and not have to be out with the equipment. We believe that we manufacture premium air conditioning equipment. Therefore, that end user customer deserves to have a premium experience. We really want to make them feel like they're welcome and really give them the confidence in what we're doing. So why is innovation so important to Aon? Well, Aon's been the innovation leader since its founding in 1988. We have brought to the market unique and innovative solutions to difficult problems at a reasonable cost. One of our challenges always is, is, well, okay, everybody's doing that now. What do we do next? The whole industry is raising its bar, and if we want to stay out front, we've got to raise it. And I think the great thing about this building is we didn't just move the bar just a little bit. We made sure to make a big step change with it. They say if you're not going forward, you're going backward. And so Aon has a culture of always going forward. We have established that for the entire duration of the company. This laboratory helps us to keep that going. At my age, I've been nearing retirement for quite a long time, 
And as I started getting there, I started thinking, what could I do for Aeon that, that give it a lasting lifetime? And we finally, after a lot of studying, concluded that we had to go and just start all over and build a dedicated laboratory. This is the high point of my career is to be involved in, in developing and, and starting up and getting this thing running. That's, it's a great way to go out.